Good afternoon, good morning, good evening, depending on where you are. Welcome to Beacons for Christ Ministry. We are glad to be in the house of the Lord one more time and are excited about lifting up the name of our Savior, about getting together and exalting him. And as we do, we are exalting one another. Amen. We give honor to our pastor, Pastor Wendy Lightborn, and to our First Lady, Reverend Eunice Lightborn. Amen. We give them honor. And we welcome everyone that is on Zoom now and all who will join us later in Jesus' name live and those who will join us via social media later on. Praise God. Welcome to Beacons for Christ Ministry. Today is September the 11th, 2022. We're going to go right into our opening song, The Blood That Jesus Shed For Me, way back on Calvary. And this song is beautiful and ministering as it ministers the power of the blood of Jesus. Amen. So let's Sing this song together as we prepare ourselves, hallelujah, to welcome the fullness of the Holy Spirit to manifest itself in this service today. The blood that Jesus shed for me, after which I will open us up in prayer. Oh,
Praise God. It will never lose its power. We know that. We thank God for that blood and for that covering. Let us close our eyes in prayer at this time. Heavenly Father, our gracious and eternal Father, Lord, we love you. Lord, we praise you and we thank you. God, we're grateful to be in your presence one more time. Father, we close out every single bit of noise that has been in our presence and in our space. Hallelujah. This last week, this morning, this afternoon, we place it at the altar. Hallelujah. Because there's no room for it here. Hallelujah. We welcome willingly, graciously, and gratefully the presence 
and the fullness of the Holy Spirit to rain down and completely manifest its presence here. Hallelujah. Speak, Lord, to every single person on this platform. Speak, Father, to every single soul that you will have reached via this broadcast later. Speak, Father, in the name of Jesus. We have willing hearts and willing souls, and we want to receive you today in Jesus' name. There's no room for nothing more than you and the fullness of the Holy Spirit in Jesus' name. Father, thank you for the word that you have birthed in our pastor. Thank you for that word. Thank you, God, for him being a willing vessel for your glory. Thank you, God, for choosing him. Thank you for the blessing that he is to this ministry. Thank you, God, for our access to him through you. We love him. We thank you for him. And we are ready to receive a word that you have put into him in Jesus' name. Bless him as he brings the word. Rain down on him. Fill him up and overflow in Jesus' name. We declare your presence here. Hallelujah. In this place, in this space right now in Jesus' name. Glory be to God. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Lord, we love you. We love you. Hallelujah. And we receive you in Jesus' name. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Blessings. Here beginneth the reading of God's holy word. I'm going to be reading from Hebrews 9, 11 to 22. But Christ, being come and high priest of good things to come by a greater and more perfect tabernacle, not made with hands, that is to say, not of this building, neither by the blood of goats and calves, but by his own blood, he entered in once into the holy place, having obtained eternal redemption for us. For if the blood of bulls and of goats and the ashes of an heifer, sprinkling the unclean, sanctifieth to the purifying of the flesh, how much more shall the blood of Christ, who through the eternal spirit offered himself without spot to God, purge your conscience from dead works to serve the living God? And for this cause, he is the mediator of the New Testament, that by means of death, for the redemption of the transgressions that were under the first testament, they which are called might receive the promise of eternal inheritance. For where a testament is, there must also of necessity be the death of the testator. For a testament is a force after men are dead, otherwise it is of no strength at all while the testator liveth. Whereupon neither the first testament was dedicated without blood. For when Moses had spoken every precept to all the people according to the law, he took the blood of calves and of goats with water and scarlet wool and hyssop and sprinkled both the book and all the people saying, this is the blood of the testament which God hath enjoined unto you. Moreover, he sprinkled with blood both the tabernacle and all the vessels of the ministry. And almost all things are by the law purged with blood and without shedding of blood is no remission. May God add a blessing to the reading of his holy word. Oh my, oh my, oh my. What a powerful scripture. Amen. Pastor? Praise the Lord. Let us pray. Father God, we give you the honor and the glory and the praise. Lord, we thank you, God, for the opportunity, God, to be able to come before your throne, Lord God, and to make a special request for children, God. Lord God, we love them, God. We care for them, Lord. We even fear for them as we send them out, God. Lord, we know that school goes back in this week, Lord God, for many students, Lord God, and some even started back last week. But Father God, we give all the children that are represented here today as children, as nieces, as nephews, Lord God, as Godchildren. Every child that's represented by the people that are that is on the Zoom service, God, I ask that you would touch 
that child, that your blood covering would go over that child's life as they begin this new year of school, God. Lord, you know only what possibly lies ahead of God. And Lord, you know how this world is ever changing, God. So Lord, we give the children to you in the name of Jesus, God. Protect them from seeing and unseen dangers, germs, Lord God. Protect them, Lord God, from violence, from danger, troubling mercies, God. Be with these children as they start this new academic year, God. Educate them, help them to learn what they need to learn, God. Help them to find truth. God, even as they teach them some strange things sometimes. God, protect these children, Lord God. Be with them in everything that they do. Be with each parent that is represented by a child, God. Fill them with a special wisdom they need so that they would guide these children, Lord God, that they would be safe. But God, most importantly, they would know you even as they grow on with their lives. Be with them in school, God. Protect them as I ask this all in the mighty name of Jesus. I say thank you in advance, Lord God. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah, praise God. Thank you, Pastor, for that covering and shielding prayer over our children, over all the children as they head back towards school. May the blessing and favor of God embody them as Pastor prayed. Amen. We're going to go right into our first praise and worship song at this time. <laughs> Oh, 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 oh,
In Jesus, amen. Praise the Lord. <laughs> if anybody asks you who I am, just let them know that I am redeemed. And those of us that seen this with the understanding of being redeemed, it's a beautiful feeling. We were born with a price. And we are changed. Jesus has changed our whole life. Mercy. That, that, that song continues to just stir up my spirit as it reminds me of where I really am in Christ and what I am in Christ because of that work that Christ has done for us. Praise the Lord. These are not random songs. These songs are actually picked as they're going to go with my message. My message today it's going to be talking about the blood, the blood of Jesus, the blood, what it means to God. The topic says God has to see the blood redeemed. God has to see the blood when he deals with us. He has to see the blood ultimately. When he judges us, it's going to be based on the blood of Jesus. And I want to touch on that today so that we are clear what this blood is all about and how significant this blood is. And that has always been a blood issue with God. It's always been a blood issue. It still is, and it will be in the end. Let me go into prayer first of all. Father God, we give you the honor, the glory, and the praise, God. We are cheerful, Lord God, to just say hallelujah, all honor, all glory. Praise your wonderful name, God. Thank you, God, that we can find ourselves in a place today of fellowship, God. Lord, I bring myself, asking that you would just relieve me of anything that may be of distraction, Lord God. And Lord, the word that your Holy Spirit has left in my spirit that I ask that it would speak through me, God, and that your word will be heard and that they would understand and that souls will be saved and that souls will be edified and that in all things you will be glorified. Into your hands I commit my spirit. Speak through me. I ask it in Jesus' name. Amen. 